Hey everyone, Dylan with Frontier Precision. Hey, I'm coming to you um, because of a problem that I'm having here in the field. Um, as I go to measure points in this brand new job, I'm noticing that my measure points name, uh, my point name is auto selecting this random value, uh, 6131 here, as I try to shoot a rapid point. If I switch over to topo point, it's grabbing some other random point name. And same thing if I try to do observed control, if I try to stake something, it's, it's using these random point names. And so after a little bit of digging, I figured out where this is coming from. So if we escape and we go to the, the job properties, and if we look under additional settings here, scroll to the bottom, you're going to see this new section called next point names. It's grabbing the values for the for the new point names uh, from this list and so uh, where this list is coming from is actually it's being carried over from my previously used job I figured out um, if I look in in the last used job I left off at point uh, 2694 so it's auto incrementing to 2695 for any new measured points same deal with uh, stakeout points. I left off in my previous job at auto 0028, so it's auto incrementing up to auto 0029 for me. Um, so be careful, be on the lookout here for this next point names, just in case you're someone who um, is a little irritated by the way that this works. And now I'm going to show you how to fix this, how to make this uh, more of a, a default preference or template for you. Uh, so that when you go to start new jobs, you can have it start fresh at a specific point name for each one of these uh, different styles of measuring. Okay, so let's escape out of this job and let's create a new job. So to do that, I need to end the current survey. I'll go ahead and do that. And so I'm now in my new job. Um, I'm going to give it a new job name. And if I come down to additional settings, you're going to notice that boom, it's it's still using those same next point names. So I could either fill these out each time and make these, you know, what I want them to be. Um, or I could go ahead and set up a template. So let's escape here. Let's choose from the default template. So under template, choose default. Then go down to additional settings. What you're going to notice is, um, are these two radio buttons, last use job and template. Okay, templates blank, last use job is auto incrementing from the previously opened job. So I'm going to choose template to create this template. So in my template, I want all my new measured points to start at 1,000 and then increment up from there within the job. My ass stake points, I want those to start at 8,000. My keyed in points, um, that could really be anything actually, so I'm going to leave that one blank. Construction points, same deal. Um, Kogo points, um, maybe I want those to start with comp, comp 1. Observed control points, maybe I want those to start at 1. Rapid points, maybe I want those to start at 500. And then continuous points, let's start those at 2000. I could keep going through the list here and, and populate all these how exactly how I want them. This works for lines, arcs, and polylines as well. If you're uh, computing any lines, arcs, or polylines in the field. All right, there we have it. I've set up my next point names template. I'll go ahead and hit enter and accept that. And then just fill out the rest of my job properties here. So give me a sec to do that. All right, I'm good to go now. Now I'm gonna start up a uh, new survey. All right, so I'm going to hit measure move that out of the way, choose up my RTK survey style, connect up to my base. And now in my measure points 
dialog, I have an appropriate point name populated there. So that's for observed control point. If I go to topo point, it should start me at 1000. Rapid point starts me at 500. So this is, this is uh, more of my preference here. When I go to start a new survey, I want it to start at a specific point name. So just keep in mind, if you are struggling with, uh, with that automatic point name carried over from a previous job and that's bugging you, um, it's just a simple additional setting. You can go ahead and configure that template how you'd like to see your, um, your new jobs, new points start um, and go from there. So hopefully that helps someone out there that was struggling with the same problem I was. That's it for today's Tech Talk. Hope to see you next time. Thank you. Thank you.